Hoist, we got GSP coming into the Hall of Fame now, and you know, you came back and you have seen 60 to fight Matthews. Do you ever wish you would have got to fight GSP? I never wish to fight anybody, because when you're on the top, they wish to fight you. <laughs> so I never, like, nah, I never request who was going to fight. They picked me. Fair enough, and you know, uh, being the specialist that you are, seeing GSP's career and how much rounds that he was and good at what, all the things he did, what was it like for you to see him in his career? GSP actually remind me of myself. Because sometimes I come in southpaw, sometimes orthodox, sometimes I shoot in, sometimes, most of the time I shoot in, but sometimes I just draw the opponent towards myself and I back up. Um, George did the same thing. I can see myself on him a lot. Some, you don't know who you're fighting. You don't know who you're going to fight. Sometimes he just comes in and knock the guys out. And sometimes he kick everybody around. And sometimes they just he just shoot in and take them down. It was like it was a grappling match. Sometimes it was a stand-up match. So that made him good. Speaking of people who are getting more and more around, Demon Gracie doing pretty good. What are your thoughts on seeing him continue to develop with the great knockout? Neyman, he finally uh, he came over from a couple bad fights. So it's actually good. I don't regret my losses at all because you learn so much. Um, so he came from a couple bad fights, but he grew, he grew, he regrouped himself, and he's back on. And he got a very good stand-up coach. Um, not that the old one was bad. The guys in New York did an excellent job teaching him. So he just connect with the new team. So that's very important. And also, Hoist, you spent some time in Pride, and nowadays we have Ryzen. Just curious if you've been keeping up with Ryzen and all, and what do you think about, like, Pride 2.0 a little Man, there's good, there's talent everywhere. Not just in Japan, not just in America. It's, but that's the idea of the show to be able to travel. There's so, Brazil, for instance, there's so much talent in Brazil. And rush all over the, the Russian countries over there. There's so much talent that they don't have a chance to come over here. So it's good for the shows to go to the, those countries. Definitely. And, you know, there's so many great races in your family. Was there anybody that we maybe don't know about yet that we should keep an eye out for? Um, Hiron. Hiron Gracie's son. Hiron. The kid's good heart. Very tough, very been beating everybody on the tournaments and strong, very strong. Hans is his coach, of course, so the kid's got he's he's in a straight line. He's gonna come up soon. We're seeing a lot of um, MMA fighters and, and BJJ fighters kind of coming together, switching, uh, some going over to jiu-jitsu, some coming over to MMA. Is there maybe like a super fight you can think of, maybe somebody in jiu-jitsu and somebody in MMA that you'd like to see match up? Um, I'm not a matchmaker, so I'm a fan of the sport, so I like to watch them all. I mean, I, I prefer to watch, I like, I love to watch the champions because they are the champions. They know how to use strategy. They don't just come in to just duke it out. So, but I, I'm not in particular with anybody that I like to match up. What about the champions now? Who do you think has the best jiu-jitsu? Oh, Charles de Bronx, he's, he's up there. Demia Maia, of course, um, Verdun. So the Brazilians are very good at that, so. And uh, my last question for you, we're here at the Hall of Fame, and there's not a specific jiu-jitsu you know, um, category yet. Do you think there should be maybe a, a great submission in history or anything like that? They should have. That's true. I didn't think about that. They have the greatest knockouts, right? Why not the greatest submission? I think Charles de Bronx will be up there on the, the submissions because the kids will be finishing everybody. That's what I was going to ask. Who would you award the first one to? Hmm. He's up there. He's up there. Him, Demi Maia. Demi Maia ties everybody up too. It's like, ah, so hard to escape from him when he gets the hands on you. Thank you so much.